Hello guys and welcome to a profile tree Wix tutorial. Today I'll be giving you a rundown on the Wix action bar. This tool is great for users to quickly contact you on your site and you can also use it as a custom feature. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So here we have a side panel on the left side of our screen. Uh, we've got add to mobile, a menus and pages, background and most importantly our mobile tools so we'll go ahead and click on that and we're now shown four mobile tools our most important one which is the quick action bar but you also have a back to top button a welcome screen and browser theme color so we'll go ahead and click on the quick action bar just add that to the site and just before we continue as well, just to let you know that this quick action bar can only be used on the mobile site and not the desktop site. So yeah, here we go. We Here we have a quick action bar, as you can see there on the bottom right. And it shows us a list there. Uh, that's your default. So we've got the phone, email, Facebook, and your, also a chat bar if you've installed one for your site. Uh, so yeah, the bad thing about this is, yes, you do have to individually set this up it's because there's different, you know, types. So you've got your phone number there and you can add your, as it says there, you can add a dedicated phone number and you can also a, add a business number. Um, so yeah, you've got your email there, which you can set up as well. Individual email for your business. And you just you also have a social uh, social here, um, so you can set that up as well, and just add the URL um, from your social site. So I, I do know that it says phone, email, and Facebook, uh, but if you have any other socials or you have any other contacts, uh, the great thing about this is that you can actually add more actions. So as uh, as I was saying earlier on as well you can add a custom action and this could be linking towards a page of the site or uh, another a link to another website you know so we've got a custom action bar there and you can choose from for whatever icon you want so we'll go ahead and just click that just to show the the site and there it is it's added on there you can also rename that if you want to Or if you don't want that little icon, the great thing you can do is remove them. And so we're stuck with phone, email, and Facebook. And again, if you want to go to the actions and you can click on any of the contacts there. Great thing about this as well is there is actually a contact form. So that's, that's a pretty good feature for any of the users. Or if you want to, you can add a social. So we'll add an Instagram. So here we have our layout. So we have our phone, email, Facebook, and Instagram. If you're not so happy with the layout, what you can, can do easily is actually just drag them about. So I can have my phone at the bottom. I can have my email at the bottom. And then I'll have my Instagram and Facebook there. Or if I wanted Instagram on the top, I could just do that by dragging them. So now we have our actions. We'll go ahead and change them a bit and modify them I, as I don't like the look of the layout here. So if we look at the settings of the quick action, here we have it saying Instagram, Facebook, email, phone. We can actually choose to remove those. So now we're stuck and left with the icons. You can also choose uh, your layout if you want it on the right side or if you want it on the left side. So just for this, we'll have it on the left side. And you can also choose a uh, design. Uh, so this is some of the Wix designs. So we've got a colorful one there if you want that. A couple of more there. But we'll actually go ahead and choose this one here. 
and you can customize the design it's also there as well so we'll just go through it from here so you can pick a gray gray scale or you can have it colored but we'll keep it black and white just because of the theme of the website there And another cool part here as well is you can add your borders. So you can have your opacity there. Uh, have a color black. You can have your width. As you can see there, it's changing and adding borders. I'll just leave that to zero. You can add a shadow. You can also add angle if you so wish. Um, There you go, there's a little bit of shadow there, but we'll just leave it as default. But yeah, we'll go ahead and preview this and see how it looks. There you go, as you can see there, everything's laid out. We'll just quickly change this part here as well. Just go to settings, there you go, just to have it with the icons. And there you go, there's the final product. You've got your Instagram, your Facebook, your email, phone, and a little chat box. So yes, um, hopefully this uh, tutorial helps. Um, if you guys have any questions, just leave them below in the comments section. And yes, um, like and subscribe, and thank you very much.